Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. Just came back from InterVision retreat. Brandy was there. It was beautiful. <laughs> I really wish that I was still there <laughs> waking up to all the women we got to be with and just support and all the good things. Um, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm just going to give a little introduction to EPT and then really I just want to dive in. Um, and I'll grab someone that has uh, volunteered. I'll just probably muscle test and see who's gonna go. But um, this is something that I just really wanna share uh, in greater ways. So starting to um, offer this in, in my group for the next, you know, for however long it feels good, but at least once a month, maybe more. Um, and yeah, just to give people an opportunity to uh, try something different. I came to EPT years ago because I was looking for something different than talk therapy. And I knew I needed support with something. And I was just like, I don't know, I need something deeper, <laughs> something that like, I'm actually going to like leave feeling like something has changed. Um, and for me, talk therapy, I just think it ran its course for me because I'm someone who is really good at analyzing all the shit that's up in here. And I'm not really afraid to look at what's what the truth is or face that kind of stuff head on. And I just felt like I kind of hit a dead end with talk therapy and EPT essentially just fell into my lap. Um, actually, Brandy, I don't know if I ever shared this with you, but because I used to work with Brandy at this agency when I discovered EPT, do you remember Nina Rupp? She's the one that introduced it to me. <laughs> so yeah, um, she was just a girl that I was mentoring and, um, I just watched her over the course of like, yeah, I totally called it in. I, I, I watched her over the course of like six months, um, just kind of like step into and own who she was. And she was always talking about this practitioner, Andrea this, Andrea that, you know, when I did this with Andrea and then one day I was like, who the hell is Andrea? And what the hell is EPT? <laughs> like, I need to know. Um, and yeah, that was back in like, um, you know, 20, 2014, 2015. And then, you know, a few years later, it just kind of like came to me that I wanted to share this with the world. So then I got certified and I've been practicing ever since. So um, Kelly, thank you for my hair comment. I cut my hair right at the end of the year and I'm already over it and really want my long hair again. So I, oh, I it looks it. so good though. I appreciate it. I just told my husband this morning, I was like, I'm tired. I'm done. I'm ready for it to be back again. But um Thank you. I appreciate hearing that. I curled it to like make myself feel better about it today, <laughs> but um, it'll grow. So anyway, um, yeah, just to give you guys a, a little peek, um, you know, from like a more of a technical explanation, EPT is just a different approach to emotional health care. So the essence of EPT is that we are working with the science of forgiveness to resolve issues that are happening in your life. And the method that I will work with allows us to uncover some root issues or um, unresolved conflicts or an old memory that's keeping you stuck in the pattern that you are experiencing. And sometimes it's a really big thing. Sometimes it seems seemingly silly, um, but essentially what has occurred to us in our life has created the ways in which we view and um, really understand the world. And so um, EPT allows us to connect into what is actually there to let it go and then move forward in a new way. So, um, and it works on like everything, which is kind of makes it hard to talk about because it sounds like too good to be true. But, you know, I've worked with people that have you know, years of chronic pain. And in four sessions, they like literally have a new experience with their body. I've worked with people in deep financial stress and scarcity who then within a couple of weeks are able to kind of see a new way forward and receive what they need. Um, so, you know, from a limiting belief standpoint, but also physical ailments, um, it's really great with children and even pets. So it's just one of those things that, Kind of sounds too good to be true, um, which I think is fair. And yeah, I'm just here to share. Like, it's it is it's a new. I don't even want to say it's new because it's been around for like 25 years, but it is available. And um, 
oh, Brandy, your arthritis pain is legit nearly invisible and can't wait to have my girls do it and continue more. Me too, would be honored to work with them. Um, and yeah, I watched that happen over last week. <laughs> like we weren't even focusing on it. Um, but as a result, a lot of things change, a lot of things shift. Um, and what's interesting, so kind of going back into, um, you know, into the, the reason why, um, okay, more people are entering here. Whoops. I don't know how to open the room. The, the, the reason why it works across so many different things is that it actually positions us to access forgiveness. A lot of us are taught about forgiveness growing up, especially in some type of religious context. This is not, I, you don't have to be part of any kind of religion to um, be connected to this idea. Forgiveness is something that occurs when we step outside of our mind. It's sort of like a quantum leap that has to happen um, because it doesn't really play with logic. And so if something bad has occurred to you in your life, or if you've done something bad to somebody else, sometimes we'll hold on to those things and not be able to let it go. Forgiveness requires us to to be able to make peace with those things and to allow grace to exist so that we can move forward. And what's interesting about this process is that it satisfies the mind, or at least this is why I love it so much because I'm such a mind person, um, but it satisfies the analytical mind and kind of helps you to bypass that going into the body and into the spirit to kind of align all of the pieces together so that you can move forward. So, um, all right, I'm gonna stop explaining because I just wanna dive in. Okay, so I'm gonna pick somebody. We had a couple of volunteers. If anybody else is looking to do this, drop your name in there and I'm just gonna write them down really quick. And we'll just test and see who's gonna volunteer. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I think I grabbed everybody that's interested. All right. All right, Kelly, you are testing. <laughs> I love being able to use that tool. So, Kelly, come on down. I'm going to pin you. <laughs> hello, hello. Um, awesome. I'm going to close these windows here because I'm just getting distracted. So as we go through Kelly's session, if you guys have questions or anything, comments, please feel free to drop them in the chat. I'll look at them after. I'll probably be very focused on Kelly. Um, but for those that are participating um, or just witnessing, know that you can participate by following the um, the breathing that we do and you know the specific sequences that I share with Kelly if you would like. Otherwise, just kind of hold this space that if you're here and you're watching, there's probably something for you in here. And um, yeah, just send some love to Kelly as we're going as we're going through this. Cool. All right, girl, what's going on? What do you want to work on? Um, how about let's see what's come up, what comes up. Okay, so you just want to clear some stuff. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. So I am doing my whole financial services business, and it's taking a little bit of time to longer than I wanted to get off the ground. Um, and so if I had to pick something, it would be that, but I'm not, it's really just general clearing. Okay. Let's just see what my body wants to work on. Let's see what your body wants to work on. You, side note, you, your energy feels really good today from the oh, last time you. we took a session together. Um, there's just like, yeah, you, you're feeling really, really, really good. Um, all right. Well, why don't we start with this? I'm just going to have you, um, just, we're going to do some rapport. So I'm going to have you breathe. I'm going to have you put your hands on either side of your head and your feet on the ground. And yeah, folks that are watching, you can do this as well if you'd like. And we're just going to do six deep breaths in your nose and out your mouth. And as you breathe in, just squeeze your head. As you breathe out, you can release. Just go ahead whenever you're ready. And if we're tracking, we have three more together. Okay. 
forehead. And that just really helps get your right and left brain together, bringing you into your body, grounding you. Oh my God, I see your kitty cats in the background. Or is that a dog? It's a cat. Yeah, I've got, no, I've got two of them. <laughs> One's sitting over the other. He wants her to move and she doesn't want to move. <laughs> love it. I love it. I love having pets. Yeah, pets also really like EPT. It's funny. Um, all right. So go ahead and just say, my name is Kelly. My name is Kelly. Good. And then say, my name is Beth. My name is Beth. Okay, good. And then, okay. Yeah, we're just going to dive in with, with this, the general clearing. Financial, this situation that you brought does test as being something that we can work with today. So essentially I check in to see if there is an emotional component related to the situation that you've got going on. If not, we wouldn't do EPT on it. Um, and I would just be like, okay, what's next? Um, or, you know, if it was like a physical thing that was going on in your body and it didn't have an emotional component, that's when I would say, all right, you would want to seek, you know, a physical doctor for something like that. Um, so I just did the check there. Let me just get um, level of distress that your body is at with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're at an eight. Is there any elation around this? No. Okay. Stage of healing. One, two, three, four. So you're in stage four, which is depression. Our goal will get you, will be to get you to stage five and above, um, which is acceptance. And then to drop the distress from an eight down to like between a one and a three. And then I'm just going to have you repeat after me. So go ahead and say, I'm okay to show up. I'm okay to show up. Good. I'm okay to pay attention. I'm okay to pay attention. I'm okay to tell the truth. I'm okay to tell the truth. I'm okay to let go. I'm okay to let go. Okay, good. So you're not congruent with paying attention, telling the truth and letting go. And incongruency just is that your body is not testing as that is true in relationship to what we're working with today. The no goal surprise will be there. to bring congruency <laughs> into that. Um, and there were three issues. So let's just start with the first issue. First issue, good. Is this current? Yeah, who? Self. So I'm just going to get some details on this. And I know you've done this before, so I don't have to explain too much, but where are we? Kidney, right kidney, fear, myth, dread, paralyzed, well, timid. So mm -hmm. I need feeling timid. Yeah, yours. Okay. So mm -hmm. why are you feeling timid? What comes up? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm, About what? I'm, I'm nervous that um, people aren't going to look at me as though I have the proper education and experience to deal with their finances. Mm. So a little imposter syndrome. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Even though I've studied, I've trained, I've gotten licensed, you know, I've done all of that. I still feel like, oh, who, who am I to deal with people's finances? Mm. Yeah. Okay, good. Let me just see if there's an earlier time. Yeah. So your system is showing that there's a root memory we want to go to. So let me just see. Instruction week. Zero to one, let's see, conception of birth, birth to one, one to five, five to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Zero to one, 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 zero to Um, let's see. I was, I was 19 when I moved back home and then 20 would be, I started my legal career. Mm -hmm. Um, I moved out on my own. Well, no, I moved out on my own right away. So no, yeah. I, the only thing I can remember at that age would be starting my legal career. So yeah. probably the same thing. So now I'm starting my legal career then, and now I'm starting something new now. Yeah. Yeah, that tests. Okay. And what happened with the legal career? 
it didn't go the way that I wanted it to. I spent 19 years there and didn't get to where I wanted it to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why, why do you think that happened? I've touched upon this before. Um, I sort of felt like the universe was saying that's not what you're meant to do. And so it just continually placed roadblocks in front of me. Um, that's what I've felt. But recently, more recently, I've learned that um, it's the energy that you're putting out there. So if you don't feel worthy of having that type of career, then you're going to constantly run into roadblocks. Yeah. Um, but even after, even in the last year or so, especially since I moved to Texas, um, I've had a hard time finding jobs, even though there's a plethora of them. Yeah. So I don't really know. Yeah. And do you feel like you ever felt worthy or good at what you're doing? I'll use that um, word. Not until I started my financial services career. And the reason being that my niche is so targeted that I'm able to assist because I was doing estate planning in my legal career, I'm able to target people who are looking to have their estate plan put together. Um, and it wasn't until my trainer found that out and was like, wow, you have incredible experience that I started to say, wait, yeah, actually I do. Um, so then I started to realize, wow, you know, maybe this 19 years wasn't for nothing because now I have the ability to move into this new career and um, find a target audience that a lot of people don't have access to. Yeah. So you started to feel worthy when someone saw it in you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Let's, let's start by moving the timidity from or that energy of feeling nervous and timid with yourself when you're starting the first, or I'm going to say the first career, the legal career. So let's okay. see, show, show, show me week. I'm just going to test what your body needs to move this. Okay. So I'm going to have you um, put your palm over your right kidney. So it's like lower back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you'll take your other palm. Doesn't matter which one over your forehead. Good. And I want you to just oh, wait, bring right kidney. Oops. Yeah. Right kidney. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. You're probably mimicking me. Um, good. And just bringing yourself to being 20 and that time when you're stepping into the legal career and just feeling nervous about who you were in that space, feeling timid. Yeah. And I want you to also just include the energy of what you've feel now around not getting where you wanted to be over those 19 years. So yeah, with that in mind, we're going to take three deep breaths in your nose and out your mouth. So go ahead and breathe. When you feel complete with breathing, you can release your hands. Good. All right. If anyone is breathing with us and you're yawning, just know that you're moving energy. And that's a good thing. Um, all right. Or if you see me yawning a lot, that would be that. All right. It's very different when I'm in person thinking of last week, Brandy, because I was like burping at everybody instead of yawning. <laughs> it's a little bit different the way that energy moves when I'm digital. Um, but anyway, all right, show me, show me, show me. Are there any more emotions? Yeah, there's some more emotions around this time. So we're gonna stay on this picture of when you're 20 and you're starting something new. And you said that you had just moved, right? Like you've got this pattern yeah, of like moving. 
Yeah, of like moving and kind of like this like move, restart, move, restart. That's like it's a, a symbol of in something life. in your life. Yeah. For the last time. Yeah. So honoring that like that's part of your story and that's okay, you know? So it's not like, um, try not to like separate yourself from that or like let that be a reason why something isn't working. Um, kind of like what you were starting to see from what your trainer was was like pointing out to you, which is, oh, wow, you have all of this experience that is like really useful. You know, when you were talking about the universe, like kind of trying to nudge you in a different direction and placing roadblocks in your way, trying to think about it as um, on your way to becoming, you are already become. Does that make sense? You are mm-hmm. already the thing. And so everything that you've picked up along your way, yes, is like preparing you for where you're going. And it is exactly where you need to be too. It's so funny you say that because for the last, um, I'd say the last four years, five years, maybe I have had periodically things come up in my life or situations come up in my life where finance, financial, the financial industry would pop up and I'd draw an interest and then I'd back off and then I'd draw an interest and then I'd back off. And then finally now I'm here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just been kind of led and led and led and led to that space. And a lot Mm -hmm. of us, especially women, but a lot of us will, you know, have that little like spark of desire within and then be like, Oh no, I can't do that. That's not for me. Or that's for somebody else. Or like, we're watching somebody else do it, but I can't Mm -hmm. actually do the damn thing. And it takes a lot of courage and continued perseverance to, especially if you just are carrying a lot of limitations and limiting beliefs, to continue to stay on that path of trust. And every time you fall off, getting back on, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, So, I mean, what you're doing is really, what you're choosing to do is is really courageous. Um, Thank you. you Instead of just being like, all right, this is what I have to do. You know, I'm stuck here. Um, And then you're just like sharing all your stuck energy with everybody instead of your inspiration, your desire and the energy that like makes you tick, you know, makes you excited about life. Um, We need that. So, all right, we're still on this picture. Let me just see where we are, what other emotions we have. So show me, show me, show me. So I'm just testing organs to see who's holding what. So we're in your right lung. Um, my and lungs always seem to come up. <laughs> I'm actually liver is usually the first thing that comes up for people, especially women, for like anger and frustration. So whenever we don't start there, I'm always like, ooh, interesting. <laughs> this is a new one. Um, and the last couple of times I've gotten gallbladder, it's been people who have had it removed. And so it's like, all right, the energy of your gallbladder is still in you and is holding stuff. Um, so it's just interesting what comes forward. So let's see, we've got grief, rigidity, sadness, anguish, crying, yearning. So the energy of yearning Mm -hmm. in your right lung is is yours, yeah, mine, which makes sense with your story. So because we've already got the like gist of the story, we don't have to go any deeper into into what, why you're yearning when you're 20. But if things pop up that you want to share, you're totally welcome to. So just know that. Um, Show me, show me, show me. All right, so right lung. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. I'm going to have you put palm over your right lung space. So yeah, it'll be on that side. And you can use your other hand if it feels easier, whatever feels good. And then I think it was, yeah, back of your hand on your forehead. So flip it. Good. And just bring to mind, again, being 20 and that feeling of yearning, wanting what you want in life and how it connects to that freshness, the newness of what you're about to step into just feels like a lot of like excess energy. Um, the combination of the yearning and the timidity is sort of like a ping pong you know, sort of thing. So just being in that energy of yearning, bring that to mind. And when you're ready, just do three deep breaths in your nose and out your mouth and I'll breathe with you.
big statement of who am I just keeps coming up so much. Who am I to do this? One of my teachers always says, who are you not to? Like, <laughs> we're just like flip it around. I mean, I, I know where that's you too. from. <laughs> yeah. What do you, what do you think? I'm curious. Um, well, just my mom and my dad, well, both of my fathers and a lot of my, just my family in general, never really believing in me, like not saying, you know, my mom specifically said, who are you? Like, get off your high horse, you know, mm -hmm. but my, you know, but my family just not caring really about my career or what I, what I have accomplished or that I may actually know something, um, or taking my advice seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Cause that's shitty. So it is. I have a very toxic that. family. Yeah. I've distanced myself to, from almost all of them. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I mean, we've talked about this before, but you know, this comes from their, their mm -hmm. own fear and projections and inability to see, you know, mm -hmm. outside of their, outside of their space. Um, should we, should we, all right. Are there any more emotions? No. This testing is trauma. Yes. Phase one, phase two. All right. So we're going to address phase two trauma. Um, for those that haven't really worked with settling trauma brain or working with trauma um, in this way, in EPT, I look at if your body is testing as this being coded as a traumatic event in your system. So even though there wasn't anything like largely outside of you that was happening, this was like an internal way of experiencing it. We code something as traumatic because we believe we're alone in this. And so in this scenario, mm -hmm. it was an overwhelming flooding of, you know, an emotional experience, which causes a physiological experience in your body. And you didn't really have anyone to address it with at the time. Mm -hmm. And then also like believed you were alone, felt that you were truly alone, especially with your family, you know, um, which sounds like it's basically what's happening now is that your 20 year old self that's in trauma brain comes online as you are trying to do what you're doing now. Um, Phase one is when the right side of the brain takes over. It gets really overactive and the left, left side drops out. And so it's sort of overcompensating from like not being balanced. And it looks like hypervigilance, you know, just trying to get out of trauma, trying to solve the problem so that you can kind of calm back down. People who live in this state often, um, like often you'll see them, it can be expressed through things like high anxiety, having anxiety attacks, um, OCD, trying to get everything perfect before you can rest again. They'll like jump in, in and out of trauma brain. What we're working with you is phase two and that's where both sides were like, bye. <laughs> and mm -hmm. so numbing, disassociating, kind of mm -hmm. like having um, Dr. Annette, the, the founder of EPT calls it like, what did she call it? Like hypnotic highway brain, like where you're like driving and you don't even realize that you got somewhere. Like that is you exiting. Um, we'll move into phase two to like help protect, you know, from that overwhelm of what, of the experience. Oh yeah, for sure. I'll tell you, I've tried doing the, the breath work modality mm -hmm. and it does work, but I fall asleep. And then when asleep, I told yeah. my person, told, told the person who started training me on it, she's like, that's you checking out. She's like yeah. your body, your trauma response is coming through and your body is trying to protect you so you fall asleep because it doesn't want whatever it is to come through to the surface makes total sense yeah and sometimes doing trauma work alone kind of re-triggers the idea that you're alone <laughs> so Fair. then you're like kind of you know so being very sensitive to like when you notice those things being like okay well maybe I have to like pull back and like gently walk into this in some way or you know or another mm -hmm. A kind of a, what I'm going to have you do is just tap all over your head as we move into statements. Um, 
but you can also do that at home when you're finding that happening. So I mostly notice it for myself when I'm in a fight with my husband, <laughs> I'll just be like, woo. And so I can feel myself like not understanding the words he's saying because I'm so flooded. And so taking a deep breath and like, while he's talking to me, I'll just like, you know, start tapping and it will help to activate your brain so that they come online. And because what's happening is like in the present moment is that it's resourcing what happened in the past. And so just reminding yourself that was then, and this is now, I'm not 20 years old anymore. Like I'm not just starting a career, like from scratch, like from being a baby that just got out of school or whatever. Like I'm not just starting to be on my own for the first time. Like I've been doing this a long time. I have mm -hmm. so much more wisdom. I believe in myself. You know, I get to operate from that version of me, not the 20, 20 year old that just doesn't know anything about life, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So just knowing that, like, if you ever notice that with yourself, you know, you can, or if you're in, you know, something like breath work and you can just like slow it down. Cause sometimes it can be like really, really intense depending on the style that you're doing and like slowing it down and tapping until you feel yourself being back in your body. Other times it's also just nice to let yourself sleep because maybe your system needs the rest too. Yeah. That's what she <laughs> told me. She said, don't do it more than twice a week. Just yeah. let your body. Start slow. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. My husband just is going to walk in any second now. So don't be distracted. <laughs> okay. You too. Cause that's part of the like getting, <laughs> checking out. Um, so if we, I mean, he knows that we're doing this though, right? Is he cool? To no, like, he has no clue. He has no clue. All right. <laughs> Here he we'll, comes. He's we'll coming in right that. now. <laughs> Do you want to tell him really quick? No, he's just going to walk in and see me on a Zoom and he'll just walk by. Okay, cool. He doesn't um, understand. He doesn't understand it anyway. Yeah, <laughs> well, a lot of people don't, which is why I'm here trying to tell people about it. Um, I'm, on, I'm on a meeting. Love you. Okay. <laughs> awesome. All right. So when you're ready, um, I'm just going to have you, yeah, I'm going to have you tap all over your head. And I'm going to have you start with um, a deep breath in your nose and out your mouth. And for folks that are watching, you can say these statements too if they resonate with you, if you'd like. Oh, yeah. And Kelly, I want you to just like put your attention on your seat. So the base of your spine, feeling grounded and feeling held by the space beneath you. Yeah, good. Okay, I'm just gonna have you repeat after me. So I, Kelly, forgive myself for believing. I, Kelly, forgive myself for believing. That I can't pay attention. That I can't pay attention. Yeah, um, because I'm so nervous. Because I'm so nervous. Yeah, that I'm not enough. That I'm not enough for this new job for this new job yeah for the calling for the calling yeah i forgive myself for believing i forgive myself for believing this calling is bigger than me this calling is bigger than me and i will never be enough for it and i will never be enough for it yeah and breathe I forgive myself for believing. I forgive myself for believing. That I'm alone in this. That I'm alone in this. Yeah, that um, because I feel timid. That because I feel timid. And um, the energy of yearning. And the energy of yearning. Yeah, that I felt when I was 20. That I felt when I was 20. Yeah, that I'm actually alone in this. That I'm actually alone in this. Like I was when I was 20. Like I was when I was 20. Yeah, and breathe. Yeah, I give my system permission. I give my system permission. To um, upgrade. To upgrade. To who I am today. To who I am today. Yeah, the woman who's fully prepared. The woman who's fully prepared. Yeah, to take on what I'm taking on. 
to take on what I'm taking on. Yeah, I have enough. I have enough. Credentials. Credentials. Yeah, certifications. Certifications. Knowledge. Knowledge. And creativity. And creativity. Yeah, to um, help people. To help people. In the way my heart desires. In the way that my heart desires. Yeah, even when. Even when. My family doesn't believe in me. My family doesn't believe in me. Yeah, and breathe. Yeah, I forgive myself for believing. I forgive myself for believing. That because my family doesn't believe in me. That because my family doesn't believe in me. Then I shouldn't believe in me. Then I shouldn't believe in me. That it's crazy for me to believe in me. That it's crazy for me. What? Yeah, good. It's <laughs> that it's crazy for me to believe in me. That it's crazy for me to believe in me. Because it's in direct conflict. Because it's a direct conflict. Yeah, to what I've known. To what I've known. Yeah, and breathe. Yeah, I forgive my 20-year-old self. I forgive my 20-year-old self. Yeah. Um, yeah, for picking up the pattern. For picking up the pattern. Of feeling nervous. Of feeling nervous. Yeah. Timid. Timid. And yearning. And yearning. Yeah, with myself. With myself. When I started my adult life. When I started my adult life. Yeah, I forgive myself now. I forgive myself now. For blaming myself. For blaming myself. For not getting where I wanted to be. For not getting where I wanted to be. After 19 years. After 19 years. Yeah, and breathe. Yeah, I love and accept the fear I feel. I love and accept the fear that I feel. Of repeating the same thing. Of repeating the same thing. Putting in 19 years. Putting in 19 years. And all of my energy. And all of my energy. And just finding out that the universe didn't want me to do this. And just finding out that the universe didn't want me to do this. Yeah, I love and accept the fear. I love and accept the fear. I call it up out of my body, mind, and spirit. I call it up out of my body, mind, and spirit. And I release it for divine healing. And I release it for divine healing. Yeah, and breathe. Okay. Yeah, I forgive myself for believing. I'm going to have you keep going. If you need to take a break, you can just do one. No, I did. I just okay. <laughs> like, had <in> my arms. <laughs> yeah. was... I forgive myself for believing. I forgive myself for believing. Yeah. That the universe doesn't want me. That the universe doesn't want me. Yeah. To do what my heart wants me to do. To do what my heart wants me to do. Yeah. That there is this force. That there is this force that is punishing me. That is punishing me. When I get it wrong. When I get it wrong. Yeah. I love and accept. I love and accept. The truth is. The truth is. I'm always supported. I'm always supported. And guided. And guided. Even if I can't see it in the moment. Even if I can't see it in the moment. Yeah. I am not forgotten. I am not forgotten. Yeah, my dreams are not crazy. My dreams are not crazy. Or unattainable. Or unattainable. Yeah, and I give myself permission. I give myself permission. To receive grace. To receive grace. When I forget those things. When I forget those things. Yeah, and breathe. Yeah. 
have you say one more. I forgive my family. I forgive my family. Um, for what they taught me. For what they taught me. Yeah, about what I could be. About what I could be. Based on how they believe. Based on how they believe. Yeah. Life gets to be for them. Life gets to be for them. Yeah. And breathe. I ask them to forgive me. I ask them to forgive me. Um, for triggering their limitations. For triggering their limitations. And their fear. And their fear. When they see me being me. When they see me being me. Yeah. And breathe. Yeah, without this negative pattern. Without this negative pattern. I allow myself to see. I allow myself to see. Yeah. What other people see me as. What other people see me as. Yeah. Like my trainer. Like my trainer. Who saw me as worthy. Who saw me as worthy. And competent. And competent. Yeah. Highly skilled. Highly skilled. And special. And special. Yeah. And breathe. Now, without this negative pattern. Now, without this negative pattern. I am free. I am free. To fill the place. To fill the place. Yeah. In life. In life. That I can fill. That I can fill. And no one else can fill. And no one else can fill. Yeah. I, I can now do the things. I can now do the things. Yeah. Which I can do. Which I can do. And no one else can do. And no one else can do. Yeah. I love and accept. I love and accept. I have been training. I have been training. For this moment. For this moment. My whole life. My whole life. Everything I have. Everything I have. Is enough. Is enough. Breathe. Yeah, without this negative pattern. Without this negative pattern. I am free to ask myself. I am free to ask myself. Who am I not to do this? Who am I not to do this? Yeah. This is needed. This is needed. And I'm good at it. And I'm good at it. And I want to do it. And I want to do it. So who the hell am I not to do it? So who the hell am I not to do it? <laughs> yeah. Even when I'm afraid. Even when I'm afraid. Yeah. Even when I feel the doubt. Even when I feel the doubt. Yeah. Coming from my past. Coming from my past. Or from my parents. Or from my parents. Yeah. I give myself permission. I give myself permission. To return to the truth. To return to the truth. And return to having faith. And return to having faith. Yeah. That what I desire. That what I desire. Is safe for me to listen to. Is safe for me to listen to. Yeah. And breathe. Yeah, I no longer have to check out. I no longer have to check out. When it comes to um, building this new business. When it comes to building this new business. Or when, um, when I see success in the new business. Or when I see success in the new business. Yeah, I give myself permission to be present. I forgive myself. Or I give I myself, give myself permission. permission to be present. Yeah, with what is here for me. With what is here for me. And what I'm growing. And what I'm growing. Yeah, because the truth is. Because the truth is. I have the choice. I have the choice. To grow the energy of fear. To grow the energy of fear. Or to grow the energy of faith. 
or to grow the energy of faith. Every single day. Every single day. Yeah. And breathe. Good. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Good. Anything coming up for you? Um, no. Good. Mm-mm. Peace. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. When you said um, because it's needed, I don't. I don't think people realize how much it's needed. Yeah. I mean. The one thing that I found out is that the the financial education of the people in the United States is like, and financial advisors are really out for most of them, not all of them, but the majority of them are out for their own pocket. And that's what really like got me revved up because I'm like, there are so many concepts out there for people to grow their money and have a happy and great retirement. And nobody knows about it. They don't know about it. They're like, oh, just put it in your 401k. Yeah, no, your 401k is the worst thing you can put your money in. Yeah. Flat out and simple. You have a lot to say about this. I do. Yeah. So when you are thinking about in the morning, getting ready for your day, just thinking into if I knew that people needed this, needed to hear this, needed to hear what I have to say, what would I say today? If I just knew they needed to hear it, and if I knew that it was getting to the right people, how would I show up today? And this is just popping into my mind, but maybe looking into writing some guest articles on places like money.com or like, you know, places that align apparently mm-hmm. is easier I'm than building up you think. social media. Yeah. I mean, I even my- could just see you very easily making like a quick, like top three you know, things to shift today mm-hmm. to grow your, or to grow your, I'm not, I don't have the right language. So you're speaking to me top, yeah. you know, top three. Yeah. Like, or like why exactly. your 401k isn't going to help you at the end of the day, you know, like, and how you can, you know, make it stronger just, but you know, whatever the content is knowing, like I am full of information and I know there's a lot of people out there that are not in integrity And I actually relate to this a lot, just as I've built the healing practice. There's a lot of people out there that are like really not in integrity. And I had to let go of the fear that I was going to become like them or be perceived as them or be perceived as like, some people talk about EPT as like snake oil, like on some Reddit threads. And one day I was like, oh no, everyone thinks it's like, you know, like some Reddit rabbit hole. And then I had to be like, at the end of the day, I know I'm not offering snake oil. I know it's not snake oil. There are going to be people who think what they're going to think based on what they've experienced in life. And that's fair, but that can't Mm -hmm. stop me from sharing. And actually it's out of integrity. If I'm holding on to all the knowledge that I have and not giving And so just Mm -hmm. helping to like reframe as much as possible and remind yourself that this is like a little journey. Everything you do gets to add up to support where you're headed and you've got unseen forces that are here for you and just staying connected in communities that can actually see you. You know, I think that's been a really huge, it's coming up a lot with a few clients actually, where it's like, you're doing this in a silo, like make sure that like you're in spaces where people can witness who you are today and not just be holding you to who you were last year or the year before 20 years Mm -hmm. ago, (laughs) or like Mm -hmm. your parents, like they see you as a child, which is, you know, it's just outdated. So, um, you know, kind of remembering who you are first and then stepping into that, you know, every day as much as possible. But I mean, I've seen incredible change with you in very short amount of time. So yeah, just well, that last session that we had, you connecting the dots between the moving and the um, the uh, putting myself in a position purposely to um, fail was huge. And, and, and now I remind myself periodically every time I take a new step and I move forward, I'm like, oh, wait a second. 
Am I doing this to myself on purpose? What am I doing here? I need to be more <clears throat> conscious with my decisions and what I'm doing. So it yeah. helped quite a bit. How can I love myself through the process? You know? Yeah. yeah. Cause that's where like our answers come from, you know, like yeah. the energy, you know, that energy, but it's like not the tangible step one, two and three, like, you know, what we're taught yeah. in this life. <laughs> so choosing this path yeah, it's is kinda, courageous. Yeah, it's kind of like what Joe Dispenza says. He's like, you know, you picture what it is that you want but you let the universe or whatever take you that you, you got to let it surprise you. Like you can't just determine the process on how you're going to get there because then you're not surprised. And then you're like, Oh, well, yeah, I expected that. So you're not grateful. It's, it's great. It's great. (laughs) It's tricky. Um, All right. I'm going to look at the chat really quick. Well, I was going to test. Let's see. Um, Let me test and see where you are. Show me John Jimmy Week. So you were at an eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So we went to a one. Good. Um, all right. No elation. Good. Stage of healing. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're in seven. So you're solid. All right. So creation of a new life, if you don't remember that stage that's the highest stage of healing so basically I see it as like we put you on the train track like that timeline that like will support you in this like dropped you there and like I said last time you have the opportunity to show up to life and what your next steps are from this place of the expanded awareness and perspective that wait there's actually a choice between choosing fear and choosing faith and I want to put my energy here so like I'm allowing myself to do that. And when I am really kicked up in a lot of fear, I do what I know to do to help myself calm down and to release. And, you know, I reach out, I do, you know, I do the things I know to do. Um, Okay. I want you to say, I'm okay to pay attention. I'm okay to pay attention. I'm okay to tell the truth. I'm okay to tell the truth. I'm okay to let go. I'm okay to let go. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And there were three issues on this, but we don't even have to go to another one. So we're in really good shape. Um, Yay. Thank you for being willing to do this. Um, Oh, you're welcome. I'm happy to be your guinea pig any day because I know (laughs) it works. (laughs) You're like, hell yeah. Um, Yeah. For those that are interested, um, you can find more details on my website to do a consult. I'm now offering a risk-free session. So Try it for the first session. If you're like, this actually isn't for me, I'll refund your money within 48 hours. Um, And yeah, seven session package. And I do a container as well. Um, Okay, I'm going back to these chats. Brandy said she just got off a financial call with a woman based in Denver. She's going to share a networking event shortly. Happy to share. Yeah, drop it in the group and tag Kelly if you want. Um, And yeah, Brandy's saying it's so cool in Constellation because so many of us have sent similar crap to move through. Yeah, and resonate. Yeah, sending lots of love to Kelly. <laughs> many of the husbands don't understand. Uh-huh, you are in good company. Um, let's see. Oh, so much support for you. Yeah, I legit got off this very call. We need you. Yeah, love yourself through it. My favorite quote given from my dance teacher. Oh. And then Rachel, thank you for hosting this session, Beth. And thank you, Kelly, for sharing. She has to jump off. Sending love. Thanks for being here. Um, Yeah, leave the room for spirit or whomever you call to. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, thank you guys for being here. Um, Like I said, I'll be doing more of these in the group. So join if you want to receive. Um, And yeah, feel free to, you know, I'm, I'm pouring more energy into the Facebook group to just kind of help cultivate a culture of, not being alone and doing this work um, Mm -hmm. and, you know, support and community for people who are just like choosing to do the heart, you know, the heart path. It's hard. It's hard to do it. So really proud, proud of everybody. Okay. We'll talk soon. Thanks for being here. Bye. Bye love.